minutes, minutes. Well, you know how early I am. Anyway, just bear with me. The video is about to start soon. Thanks. Bye. Hello, hello, hello. Look at that light and it's terrible. Nine o'clock at night. Look like I've never done a video before, don't I? Hey, hey, hey. Anyway, yes. You know, I'm um, into a bit of my uh, stitching. Well, looking at stitching for a long, long time. I thought, why not? I'm going to show you some stuff that I do. Now, I don't profess to be in a. Oh my God. Sorry, I don't profess to be in the world's best stitcher, but what I do do is enjoy it. So I've got this new collection coming out tomorrow. So it's out. So I wanted to show people how you can simply just recreate something, but in a different medium. So I did this one. And this is gold work. So I've got French wires and everything on here. But this is actually... Oh, come on. That with a bit of work on it. So it's just that. So it's so simple. I don't mess about if I don't want to. I take elements that I want to. I twiddle it around. I decided on there that I needed a new bump. So I put a bump in it. So it's so versatile. So, so versatile. You know, the same thing could be said, and we're going to be doing this one. I'm not going to be going mad because I want to show you tomorrow, but, you know, I've got the card fronts for it that just, you can cut them all out, stick them on. You know, I've got tons of work. This is from some of the lessons that we did that are already, that are on the, the show. Um, you can just do your own. So, endless just to give you a little insight shouldn't really be doing this but hey ho so the mixed media dies are brilliant because they cut board card um gray board and um, you've got a set of wonky circles so it's imperfect perfect or perfectly imperfect now so why why do i want wonky circles well i'll tell you why because i'm fed up I've not been able to get the right wonky circle. What does that mean? Well, like that. A wonky circle. So I can colour in and out of it. So if I want to draw all that, I'm fine. I can do. If I don't, I just cut it out. So that's one of the dies. I've got mount board. I've got really, it's got a wonderful beveled edge. So that's me just messing about cutting some bits out because I thought you'd like to see that. So we have like crazy circles now i'm not happy with some of these and i was doing them trying to be friend rachel before that's that one so i've used that one in that one and i've got that one and i stood all like that i said it looks like an easter egg or a you know pair of teeth and she says to me hang on no it's not that one it's this one if you don't like it just die cut it back out so she's obviously in a much better place than i am knowing what to do anyway so we've got circles shouldn't really show you them but never mind so the stamps are really nice they're, they're like a big stamp you've got all your worker stamps and it all really pertains to fabric and leaves and uh sorry nature it's all about moodling it's about taking a journey with me so these if you don't want a moodle or you don't know how to you use these so simple you make your own up these are the stencils so you can see it's got like you could use that element there that element that element you just use anything you want um i can see if you look right they look like balls and trees and now i've got a landscape so 
you can see all sorts of leaves and everything in. So let's stamp and the doofers. I think that's the proper name, doofers. No, it's not. So, and then we've got, I would hold your asses though. Hold your asses, guys, because it will change tomorrow, won't it? Well, that's what normally happens. So, then we've got, let me take these out to show you. Then we've got all the dies of the tags. Now, these are wonky tags. They all fit together. We've got wonky ovals, which are these, which I love these. These are just so cool. So you've not only got these dies, you've got that fits in that and that and that. And that fits in that. And you could do three. So you do any colours you want and do your own. I love them. I'm just trying to keep this nice and tidy because... You know it's a lot of work this but it makes it look miles better when you can see it all i know i do so we've got wonky squares okay wonky oblongs so everyone fits in you get your own frame size these are my edges so the edges cut the edges of the paper into the paper at the side of the paper on the top the side anywhere you want you can cut them and make your own um, landscapes these here i've added all the little bibbly bobblies together and made my own then here where's that come from this is the die cut and all the ones you, i'm missing one teeny weeny one um you get another one and this is the die cut from the uh, mixed media dies but you can do it on all like i showed you so showing you some i've not shown you at all so what i to show you is how do i use it well i use some of the background and i use i get i've got this and i use this throughout so i get my one frame i love this I, this is my favorite thing i've made ever oh, no not ever one of them um and I use that as my guide now, so I don't have to keep measuring and it not it so annoys me. So then I know what it's gonna be. But the idea of the whole thing is to create little journals. So I'll be working on these with you as well. So we'll start there, you know, working on these using cadence and then showing you how different it looks with your moodles in it again. I've got tons more, I can't show it your own, never get anything done. So I'm just going to pop them out. Then you've got the card front, you've got all sorts of notes showing you that with both of them. So um, another book that I've been using where I use collage and then do the moodles and put them all together. But I do use them. Sorry, you can't do that. So I will show all this. And then I keep all my stencils so I can do like backgrounds with them. Then, right, I've got my new my paper to do. I've got that. Got that, got that. Got that. Got that. That's all I need. Okay. So if you look at the description at the bottom, you will see the lovely Gina B has got a new website and anything I use in this can be bought from her um i've put a list of absolutely everything on of the things you need now i've done them from amazon as well only because um it was like last minute and i didn't give gina much time but anything and i'm i know gina will help you so anything you need if you look at the the ticker tocker ticker tocker if you go to their new website da -da -da -da, web new 22 for 10 percent off towards 31st not bad eh not bad here's some more with the lines on stop it with this just get on with it oh i like this one though i did it all and then i took um coloring pencils and did the the top blue in teal to make it look like a forest shut up with this right okay here's how i do it so i've got a piece of the linen i use um you can use whatever you want so got a piece of linen that's where i burnt it with the soldering iron look. 
So, just going to chop this. Oh, I can't find my blue scissors. So, come on. Right, that will do. So, I've got a bigger piece here. You do need a piece underneath. I always do because it's felt and stuff. Sometimes felt is easier. You might just want two pieces of that. I'll show you why. And then, you know, I like to use a hoop or a frame. And, oh, wow, what's happened here? So a frame is only different in the fact that it's square and that the bar goes, oh, look at this, what are we doing? The bar goes together and you create like a little frame. So you can stretch your fabric on it like that and then pin it down. Or you can put it on a hoop like I did and have it on a hoop. So you can use that plain, I've shut, done a little bit to show you what it looks like on the felt. So you can use pure felt, you can use linen, I'm just going to show you how to do this and then we'll move on. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get a fine pen and I'll sh oh, we're still there. I went off. So this is my stretcher bar um, and they all come apart. So if you know, you can get any size you want, you just wiggle them apart like that. Um, I love these because they're like the old batik ones because you just pin into the top. So once the pins are very hard to sort of, and I use these pins because of the dodgy fingers. These whopper dupers here. But I'll, I'll show you. So I've shown you on here. It's easier to do it on here for you to show you. And then you get an idea. Now this is what I normally bring. Um, the fabric the linens i've put a little note of the linens but it's up to you where, where you get your linens from you can use the linen i bring you can use your own you can use an old um sheet you know now there's two couple of things you can do you can get the big template for the circles and ovals and put that on and then draw your own so you can in, in, in if, you know, in effect, you could get that. The other thing you can do is just draw straight on. So I like this flower because the flowers go throughout. But I also like this little bit, which is so cool for stitching. So this is going to be bigger than my cover, but it doesn't matter. That's what I want. I want a teeny bit of wiggle room, so to speak. Then I'm going to get a pen. Now, you can use a pencil and i'll show you with both and you can use a colored pencil as well so i'm looking at this now i want to turn this into a piece of artwork either from a wall or from a book cover or whatever it's very easy to do okay so get my pen oh no that's too thick sorry it's got to be quite a fine one because what you don't want is is that a wibbly wobbly one i think it is i don't want a wibbly wobbly if it's not it it sort of goes too thick and, and bleeds too much so you can tape it down you could do good old paper clip there's the end of that you know Put that on i don't tend to use them i just tend to sort of put it down and my advice is pen up right i'm going to work to the side now because if i don't right you're going to get um camera trying to focus on that i'm just going to see who's in i've not even looked how rude of me how rude um so oh hello from canada um Hi, Facebook user. Oh, good evening. We've got, oh, there she is. Soul sister. Da, 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 da. Uh, who's this one? Jenny. Facebook user, good evening. Caroline. Hello, my lovely friend. Hey. And it, Facebook user, hello. Hello, we've got um, Charlene. 
lovely to see you. We've got amazing Facebook user. We've got, oh wow, looks amazing Facebook user. Facebook user who loves it. Hi, Ellen. Another Facebook user. Thank you. Um, now, if you're on Facebook, you'll have one sort of thing. And if you have YouTube, you might have to say, allow them to use your name. It's just iggledy piggledy. Yeah, they are listed on CNC, but don't buy them yet. Because you may get a deal. You know what I mean? Get a deal. I, don't, I always wait. Um, that's not the price it's going to be. Just a little hint. Yes, thank you. I do love that. Hello, Philippa. How are you? Uh, yeah, great, great, great layers. Yep, yeah, thank you. Um, we've got hello, hello. We have, yes, best wait till showtime. Da, 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 da. And we've got sorry, late on parade, was chatting with my son. Carol, you have a problem with your sounds, don't you, my love? You either can see us and you can't hear us, or you can hear us, but you can't see us. Oh, Natasha. Lovely, beautiful name. That I probably got it wrong. Hi, Michael. Are you all right? And Karen. And Facebook, you, Evening Lou. I'm okay, Philippa. I'm okay. A bit excited. Yeah, you know, moving on and stuff. So, yeah, love it. Love it. So, thank you very much. I do appreciate that. So, hello to everybody. Um, oh, hello, Gary. Hello. How are you? Gary's on. Gary's here. I don't know how you've gone, but that's very good. I'm going to add him. Where have you gone? You've gone now. Oh, I was going to put you on. Oh. There he is. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> it's, it, you don't want to be there. Tell me if you do. So, what I'm going to do is I'll get on with it because England have finished and I've not had my tea yet. Anyway, but yeah, I'm okay, Philippa, thank you. Make sure you've got plenty of room around you. You don't want to sort of be cooped up into one space. Then using your pen, I'm just going to see. Don't use that one. Now, you can do a couple of things. You can use the erasable heat pen or whatever you want or you can go straight in and use a black pen because I like the black pen simply because if I don't get my stitching right it covers it up okay so all I'm going to do this is just to show you on this you know getting it on the fabric um when when it comes round to the actual shells, I can show you some more. But it's just a quicker, so to speak. And um, people get scared of this because they think it, there's a lot more to it than just drawing around the, the shape. It isn't, that's all it is. And change it. If you don't want me, um, if you don't want my checkers in middle, leave it. But the die cut that comes with it has a little middle and you can use it as a flower or the middle for diddle of that. And I've been cutting it in some metal and it looks really cool. So um, you, can, uh, you can put a button there, you know, you could have that as the closure. You know, you've got a great, excuse me, I, I have to sit cross legs. So my leg goes dead after sort of move around. Um, so here, you know, you can put a big button on it. And there we've got this great white moodle leaf so oh that's dreadful to hear yeah love and vibes so 
in my thoughts. So it's not difficult, honestly. And I've got a piece done by Rachel and she's done it in silk shading and it looks stunning. I can't wait to show you all. I'm really loving this because I feel like I know where I'm going. Um, I've got so many. I mean, this is so, you know, the beginning of my journey with you. And I, I want to doodle. I want, but I want to make it a moodle. I want, I want to be able to work with everybody and, and just be happy and enjoy it. I want to enjoy my stitching. I don't want to buy something and only have it for one thing. There's nothing worse than that. Nothing. You know, it's just not on, is it? Right, I'm going to have a peek. Right, what I'm going to do, da, 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 that's it. So if you've got some lines here, and you're not happy. Look how easy that is. It just flops on. Now, a little bit of advice whenever I'm doing it is make sure that you remember either which side or top and bottom. So I'm just going to go on now and I'm just going to put on. I didn't know whether I wanted it, but I do. So here I'm just going to do that. Okay. Now I'll show you what it looks like with a pencil, I'll show you what it looks like with a, a, a brown pencil as well. Um, all depends on what you're using. I've been using gold work. Gold work doesn't mean gold necessarily, it's it's the style of embroidery. I've been using um, some flat women gimp, I've used bullion, I've used bright, there's lots of different names. Um, I'm happy to help, but I know Gina will be happy to help, especially if you get your 10% off. See, right, that's more cohesive now. Now, do I want that in there or do I want to put my own in? I want to put my own in. You don't have to. You might have another stamp that you want to put in there. So I like that. It's going to be a button. But I want a leaf on it. So I look at this and I think, right, do I want that leaf or do I want a couple of leaves like popping out like that? I like that. Okay. So... I've just got the top layer. Now I'm going to use the pencil now. And this is trickier because I, I have to use it a lot. Can you see? But I'll, I'll, you've really got to press down and you drag the fabric. So although you can use it, just be mindful that. Can you hear it? Yeah. Now, I'm only drawing to the flower. I'm not going over. And I'll show you. Can you see? It's a little bit harder to see. So what I'm going to go in, I'm going to go back in with my fine pen and just move. You can move it because the pencil just comes off easy as well. You just go to where it was. There we go. So now, what you can do, a couple of things you can do is get your paints out and paint it. You, you know, you can do this on fabric. Um paper card wood leather i've stitched some of these flowers onto leather right so it's just ending where that flower is perfect so i just want to bring the fatter end in because it looks a bit spare like that so i'm not worried too much um about my composition simply because um i can change it a bit you know now we've got some other leaves here i quite like that little one there now i can only tell you that you will be surprised when you get them how much there is on these stencils i really wanted them packed and the guys that i like with stair. I've had a brilliant time with them and all the designers have just been amazing. Can you see? So uh, it doesn't matter that it's all over each other. So I've got one there, one there, one there. Because what I need to do is I'll do it back and work forward. Uh, no, sorry. Um, I'm not stitching on card. I'm stitching on fabric. It's linen. Um, that's so from Oakwood Archer, I think. Yeah, so I'm going to put a few on. I'm going to show you what it looks like now with a red pen, uh, pencil. I'm using like a, 
I do a drawing pencil and I might just want to have another flower there. So these are all things. Now, can you see? I'll show you what happens with a pencil like this. You tend to get big chunky lines. So although it might be a bit of a pain in bum, use these. Now, don't worry too much because you can always rub that off with a rubber, actually, believe it or not. Sometimes it does. Sometimes it'll be, you watch. Now, it's coming off, but it'll take a while. But you can see it just sort of rubs off. So um, if anybody's got any questions, I'll try and answer. Um, oh, yeah, they are great for... Um, these are great for, I've done it in metal as well. Oh, I haven't got a piece to show you, but I've done it in metal. It looks really cool, really, really cool, that flower. And then I've aged it and made it look really old, like a patina on it. So I need something here. Um, but I need my stitching on first, and I love this. Now, this could be anything. That is a leaf, skeleton leaf. But here, I just want to introduce, like, down here, a bit of stitching so we've got a bit of a line. You can do whatever you want. Now, stitching, we've got to do it. It's just, I sit there thinking, I can't be bothered today. My head's not right. I don't feel well or whatever. My, my head's not in the right space. Uh, I'm feeling really down. Whatever it is that you feel, once you get creative, and I don't want to get mucky, but I want to be creative. I want to do all these things, the stamps and dies and use it. You can stitch the dies to fabric. You know, when you get a die cut, you can do it out of card and stitch over it. You can get stunt work done with it. Well, but I'm going a bit too far there. But do you know what I mean? It's just as much as it is for any beginner, it's very much for an advanced as well. So, yeah, can you see, I've just got a little bit down there. I might move it, put this here, and you can sort of move it down. Now, this stitch was from um, a window at Eva Castle, and it was the panes of glass. And I couldn't draw what I wanted, so I made it up, and I bloody love it. Right, okay, I think I need to just bring, see if you forget out, don't worry, I think I need one here, just to bring that down, and a couple here, so you can match it up if you want, or you can go for whatever you choose, where's me, old oh, gone, hang on, there, bring it down a bit, there, I have got a secret weapon, I'm hoping that I can show you all at some point. Perfect. So I'm just going to add it in now. If there's a bit that you think, oh, I don't like that, add it. Right, can you see? That's it done. And if you don't like that, get rid of it. Don't use it. There's nothing there. Okay, nothing there. I'm just making sure I've got everybody's. Right, so if you put it into a ring, that's fine. If you put it into a stretcher, I'll show you now. But that's not the end of it because it's floating about. Now, I've got, I don't like that, right? So what I would do, I'm doing it on fabric to show you, but if you do it, my advice is you would do it on this first and then transfer it. But if you want to go on, just go straight out. See, I'd cover that with another flower, so it wouldn't worry me at least. Because what you can do is get a bit of felt and stick it on. Or you could do that. Um, you could do some cut work and stick that on. Thank you, Caroline. Oh, so you know what I mean? You could do that. And then you could draw these on if you want. This way, you could use it like that and get your own shape or just straight on with this, you know, and add that. Okay, like that. So that's one stencil. 
Um, the stencils can be all added like that with black and white. So I'll just show you this stretcher bar. The stretcher bar, I love these. I absolutely love these. Um, I don't want to mess all these up because it's took me hours and hours to get them all nice. But I want to just show you um, what they look like. I am very, I'm not often liking, and I think they're a really good price actually. I'm not often liking my own stuff. But these, and we came up with a great idea, Rachel and I, before. But these have got so many options. Can you see the big flower on its own? The little, there's the little landscape. Oh, go away. Um, that could be like the beach. Then we've got like roller coasters or clocks or cogs. But this is from the stained glass window in the monastery. And then we've got this. This looks brilliant, but you can place this and create a whole one. And that's the dingle dangle from the other book. Seed pods, exactly. Yeah, you can do anything you want. You've got that. It could be, that could be um, a mountain range. It can be a leaf. It can be a road. You've got some great black dots. And these all match the stamps. So you've got that if you've got that you keep it then we can do what we call a prick and pounce you don't need to pounce it it does help but the way you would do it is you prick i'll do it here with these little holes you prick the hole and then what you have here is can you see that scratchy bit and then you get some the pounce chalk or graphite rub it and the the action of those at like sandpaper and it goes onto the fabric so that's pricking and pouncing but we just draw it on with a pen because we can so here's my stretcher bar again um i know that these are sold on amazon but i also know that golden hinds sell them so just get that pull it together um Always double it up and have two. I've got a little bit too near there, but it doesn't matter. I might even be better with it. Like that. Or even like that. Now, remember, you only need it there. You don't need it all over that. So this is a piece of felt. I don't know where I got this felt. And you only need to cover it. So you just look. Yep, yeah, that's fine. Then I get my pins. Now, I use these. It seems really bad to do that. To do that, don't it? To get them there. Oh, hang on. Avon! Avon calling. I'm sorry about this, guys. I won't be a minute. Avon's here. Is it the milkman? All right. Sorry about that. I'm just on. Nearly swore then. Oh. Right, so you put one there, give it some welly, and it's you know, you feel like, oh, I can't stick it in there. Yeah, you can. And then what you do is just pull the fabric over, give it a good pull. I've got too much here. So I'm going to get another one out and I'm just going to place it in the middle like that. I use drawing pins as well and then one there and what you're doing is basically you're making it really taut so that I should go over there a bit now but you can keep doing it and you just put as many pins as you want I don't tend to use these as much as my drawing pins because these leave um, something to hook your thread on do you know what I mean so you can stitch and sew on your knee. You can put it into a, I use, um, this is a, a bench peg or a table clamp. I use a leg clamp, a knee clamp, any clamp. Well, no, that sounds a bit iffy, doesn't it? But um, I use clamps because I can operate with two hands then. Whereas before, um, if I've had it in my hand like this, one hand can constantly holding this um 
and these get in the way of the stitching so by having this it just pops onto the edge of the table it fits there it screws onto the end of the table this goes up and down and they have some seat ones as well which go under your leg i had it in the wrong place i'll tell you what it made my eyes water for a couple of weeks getting it wrong I, I, but i persevered until i looked at someone else doing it i thought oh what have i done what have i done so then all i would do is start stitching and that's all i do so here here i mean if you enjoy this i'll do some stitching with you as well but you know it's just a little bit of a yes prick pounds gim it is embroidery yeah it was used before terminology was changed so this part here which is this here all i've done is this is wire bullion and this is called smooth pearl right and it's tiny 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 wire um coiled around a, a, something like um almost like a hair and you cut it you just snip it and then i put it up there and we've got that spangles not sequins as you can see sequins have a dip these aren't and then i've used a slightly bigger now this is called rough check but it is still bullion or gimp now but this is bullion it's not gimp this one and then i've done some bubbly can you see them that in there we've got cut work but what i've done is i've put one like there well, let me put it on a bit of paper because it's no i can't use that either oh come on right oh, i'll just use this one there like that and then i've got another piece and i've gone up through and back down and it creates like that lollipop thing and i like little Sputniks. That round it there is called pearl. Pearl. It's quite strong. French knots, beads. Here's some more gimp. Um, seed beads. So I'll try and show it you close up, but it might not like it. So French knots. Um, this is when you put the too close together and you put it back in it wiggles on its own it's great these are couched down so these are threads that are couched down there's a lot of work um you see on clothes and stuff i was talking to Riz Riz Rana one day when we were at the monastery and i showed the she showed me the embroidery and i went it was amazing um little pearl, uh, little sea beads spangles and sea beads Spangles are actually little tiny pieces like beads of fabric of uh, metal on the amaranth and they go flat and then we've got chips there as well and we've got like little um cut work so that's how I transfer it um I told you it was only going to be a quick one but if you want to see another one I'll start stitching it but I just wanted to show people how I transfer these things from one to the other now i'll felt that as well because i've got the outline i can felt it so i want the idea of what i do to be sort of for everybody we've got even rachel and i were chatting again last night and when she made a box for the book amazing so i'm going to love you and leave you there because i think my tea's calling my belly's rumbling honestly but if you do like this and you do like seven o'clock, eight o'clock at night, let me know and I can do a few more. I only decided this morning because I haven't done one because um, the lovely Fifi was poorly. Otherwise, I would have jumped in. But um, if you want more, I will happily sort of think, think uh, do something, set some up. Um, and we can do it together. I have got also some, I don't know where I've put on, some little tiny bits where I've done the practice and the practice ones almost look better. For some reason, I'm not expecting myself to do too well. And the practice ones look good. 
So before I go, just don't forget that everything you get intertwines and it will be for the next whatever I'm doing. I want it all to work together. I didn't want anything to sort of just be standalone. I can't find my little my dark these. But don't forget as well that these imperfect circles are great for layering. I can't wait to show you. So I'm there tomorrow. I'm happy to do this if we, if we can let you know. Um, if anybody's interested in um, perhaps doing a little bit more in the group, helping with lives, not doing them, but helping with lives, then um, let uh, oh, no, not let us know yet, but we'll, we'll get in touch. Um, and I'm on at six o'clock tomorrow. I am so looking forward to it. I hope you, you've got an idea of how I just, it's so easy, in it? I want to shove them on. But yeah, and simple things. And if you haven't got one of them, use an old frame. You've got to be able to get your hands through it, though. Um, but yeah, if you want me to do more embroidery with my stuff, or more cut work, gold work, please let me know in the comments and I'll happily do it. So thank you so much for your time. We've only done 40 minutes, but I'm sat here with curlers in my hair and my pyjamas on ready for my tea. Not a pretty sight, not a pretty sight. So huge amount. Go to Gina, uh, Gina, Gina B's new, silk, uh, new website and you will be able to get 10% off till the end of December web new 22 right so i'm just laughing at that somebody yeah right i'm gonna get off so again i can't thank you enough because i just really do appreciate everything um right gary i've only just got the questions now Gary's asked me some questions and I, I didn't know I could do this, Gary. You're very good at this. Um, oh, you've done really well then, Gary. Gary wants to know, do you see after he set the pen so it doesn't run? It doesn't run, Gary. It's really weird. Um, it's really, really weird. It's because it's a permanent micron pen. Um, even the sweat from your hands could make it run. You're very, very, that's a brilliant question. But that doesn't run. So no, I don't heat set it. You know, the only time I ever heat set anything, Gary, is when I'm wearing it. And that's not often. But yeah, um, you know, you, that's a good idea. You could cut out that, yeah, on fab, in fabric and moogle in it and make a brooch. How cool is that? Anyway, I would love you and leave you. Well, let me know and we'll go on to doing some stitching or some... Um, other sorts of things on here but thank you so much for your time and i will hopefully see you tomorrow it's been such a pleasure thanks everybody bye